Hey, what's up? It's Zero here. You might notice this is a little bit different than usual. That's because I downloaded the uh, Killzone 3 demo. I guess it's not the demo, I guess it's the beta for multiplayer. Got it yesterday and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I was playing around with it this morning and it wouldn't let me into any online games or any multiplayer games, so I just fired it up and played a game here against the bot, so... I can't remember what it is. It's just team deathmatch, basically. I have to say I'm enjoying the game a lot. As you can see, the graphics are really good. The control is a lot better than Killzone 2. Uh, there's an option where you can make the controls pretty much just like the standard controls for uh, Call of Duty. Just a couple little differences in crouching and things like that. So, I mean, familiar controls are always a good thing. Uh, if you don't do that, then aiming down the sights is a little bit hard, but... In this game, aiming down sights really isn't that big of a deal unless you're going for marksman, which is what I'm doing here. Most guns you want to try to fire from the hip because aiming down sights just slows you down. I don't know if you can tell in this, but it seems like the characters move quite a bit faster than anything on Call of Duty. Also, there's no aim assist or anything, so it's a little, quite a bit harder to hit your target. Um... I've been playing the multiplayer all day today. I was playing the full, or all the different types of campaigns all together, so the videos are too long to put on here. But, I've been having a lot of fun with that. I haven't really found too many problems with it. Only thing, the hit detection is kind of lacking, as you can see right in there. Um, a lot of that has to do with edge detection of objects, though, as you can see that rail. If I try to shoot through the rail, a lot of times it'll say, oh, it hits the rail. Or if I try to shoot over this rail, kind of a downward angle, it just says the bullets hit the rail instead of going where they're intended. And some objects out in the middle of the map have a very large area around them that you can't shoot through. So hopefully they'll do something about that. But overall, I've been really happy with the game. I've just been playing as marksman, I haven't done anything else other than that yet. Normally in Killzone 2 I played a lot of Tactician where I could set up the spawn points and everything else. It seemed like nobody ever played that, so if I wanted to be on the winning team I basically had to be the Tactician and run in there with my spawn grenades and throw them in and get, every, or get the team set up. It's kind of the same story on the beta here, but I got so tired of playing Tactician and Medic on Killzone 2 I just wanted to play Marksman. I finally got this pistol unlocked in multiplayer, too. It's the machine pistol silencer, and it is really badass. <laughs> I have to say that. And it has the benefit of if you kill them with a silenced weapon, then you remain cloaked, so... And you kind of shimmer a little bit, and when you move, you're visible, but staying cloaked and just kind of staying in one spot holding down an area is a whole lot easier. As you can see, I'm not too good with the submachine gun that I picked up here. I haven't uh, had a chance to try out a lot of the guns. I picked up a bunch of guns off uh, other people. Uh, I have to say, light machine guns are still really good, like they were in the last game. The grenades are kind of strange, and this seems like uh, maybe the planet you're fighting on here has a lot less gravity than Earth in the Call of Duty series. They have a really flat, long trajectory, so you end up bouncing them off the tops of windows that you're trying to throw them through pretty often. As far as balance goes, I'm not real sure how balanced it's going to be. There's some weapons and some setups that are seem a little bit overpowered, uh, specifically the one that I'm using. I don't think that's going to be a big thing. Uh, having an organized team is really going to help because you get into lobbies of randoms and everyone wants to play marksman, then you have basically no tacticians, no medics, have a couple people running around with light machine guns. But pretty much all you see is people trying to snipe as marksmen, and for the most part, none of them are really good at it. But hopefully that'll change when it comes out and everyone gets to play. A lot more people in the game. Ah, uh, only time will tell, but <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of know how other video games go, and it seems like everyone always wants to be a sniper. So, probably my next build, I'll either build a tactician or medic. I'll have two characters completely decked out, so I'll be ready to go with any situation. 
Might even do something with light machine guns since they seem... Uh, they seem to be pretty good. So if you notice in here, I'm just playing like the team deathmatch portion of it, and for some reason they've closed off a huge majority of the map. This map is huge. I mean, this area right here that we're in might be a little bit smaller than a normal Call of Duty map, but as far as the entire map goes, this is not even really a quarter of it. So there's a lot of room, a lot of empty open space for snipers to hang out in. A lot of narrow corridors and everything for the tacticians and infiltrators to run you down in. So, it looks like it's going to be a pretty fun game. It looks like a lot of the problems from Killzone 2 have been addressed. Namely, just the horrible control. And I guess it wasn't that bad. I played a lot worse games, but I never was a fan of the control in Killzone 2. As you can see here, I mean, it's not taking like a million shots to bring someone down. It's a little bit harder in an uh, actual multiplayer game, but typically this rifle is a two-shot rifle. That's another thing they need to work on. Sometimes you'll shoot someone twice, but still get an assist for it. And the melees, I know, overpowered is a commonly used word these days in describing any game, but the melee in this game is almost as annoying as Modern Warfare 2, but that's not too bad. So as you can see, I finished 23-1 and one against the bots, but bots are really stupid compared to humans. But hopefully I'll be getting some multiplayer games up here in the next couple days. And until then, enjoy, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Later!